It affects the weak. It affects the strong. And has no respect for social status. No, it's not age or some physical calamity. It's procrastination, which in its original Latin rendering means to leave for the next day. Recent studies took a sample of the decline in savings interest over time and how the rates have shrunk from double digits to single digits over time. In the same vein, access to credits have grown exponentially, thus strengthening the consumerism culture over the country. Individuals and whole families are caught up in huge debts that continues to increase over time. It was also revealed that credit solicitation mail from companies hit about a whopping $6 billion in the United States of America alone. That's about 75% of the total number of people on our planet. What has this got to do with our video today? Well, pretty much a lot. You see, this huge credit statistic arises because of a need for instant gratification. You're almost tempted to ask why people cannot simply save and be modest in the financial decisions until you hear the incentives that come from being in debt. In the end, it aligns with a weakness that is found in us all, procrastination. Some credit companies create the illusion that you can take out a credit and pay at your convenience, which is really any time that you feel it's okay. While this is not exactly true, we all love the assumption that time is our servant and that we can do what we want whenever we want to. In a bid to further prove this, a college professor decided to try out an experiment where he gave three different sets of instructions on how they were to submit their term papers. To one of the groups, he gave them a window of independence, but there was a timeline. To the second group, he gave no restrictions at all. They could wait till the last day of the semester to turn in their paper. To the third group, he went all dictatorial on them, leaving little or no room for independence. At the end of the experiment, the results showed that the students who did really well were those who he assumed complete control over. Those with no limit on when to turn in their term paper performed the worst, while those with some level of restriction came in the second position. There are a few changes we could learn from this social experiment, and it would help us to incorporate them into our lives so that we can deal with procrastination and learn to control ourselves. The Voice of Authority the conclusion of this experiment was this. Many times people subscribe to procrastination because there is the absence of a voice of authority to demand accountability or follow us through on whatever we plan to do. It proves that people would most likely get serious when there is a structure that allows the action that is to be carried out to be truly executed. If you experience challenges saving or have always had to put off saving for some justifiable reasons, it might just be because you have not found a voice of authority to get you to do the right thing. Instead of resolving strongly in your heart to save at all cost, maybe what you can do is to agree with your employer to have a certain percentage of your salary withdrawn automatically before it gets to your account. If you have also put off going to the gym repeatedly, you could get a faithful partner who was also interested in staying fit. Both of you can create a compulsory routine to visit the gym together. What this does for you is that it compels you in some way to stick to your resolution, as you would not want to be seen as the one who is lagging. The general rule is to find people who you really respect. Friends, colleagues, spiritual leaders, employers, and create a system of accountability with them. The place of repercussion or coercion and self-shaming. You could also include some form of penalty for missing out on the routine. For some reason, coercion seems to get the job done. It could be mild, but it must be in place. The fear of failing gets a student to study his books. The fear of being jobless or a demotion makes people meet and exceed their targets. People who neglect their medical checkups do so largely because there are really no punitive measures for doing so. A simple call to the doctor explaining why you cannot go is sure to let you off the hook. What if there were medical policies in place that made people pay a certain sum of money and the possibility of getting back 80 to 90% of those fees if you showed up for all of your medical appointments? The chances are no one would be willing to miss their appointments. In recent times, people are coming out to write or openly talk about their indebtedness, their careless financial decisions, and more. There are blogs and websites that are more like Alcoholics Anonymous, 
but these are dedicated to finances. One of the things that causes unproductive habits to thrive amongst many things is in the secrecy surrounding them. When people can deal with the supposed shame around poor dieting, reckless financial decisions or more, then it becomes relatively easier to deal with these setbacks. The unfortunate truth is, no one really enjoys changes. We would rather lie in bed and yet expect all the good things to come to us, including great health, great finances, great education, and more. However, this is not how life was designed to function. The Simplification of Processes Sometimes the cumbersome nature of some of the things that need to be done can easily intimidate people and get them to procrastinate or throw in the towel after a short while. For a person who wishes to lose weight, for instance, the mere sight of the treadmills, dumbbells, or weights might discourage some people who want to stay fit. However, there are simple-looking devices. Some of them are simply ropes with multiple functions that achieve pretty much the same job that the intimidating gym equipment would achieve. The goal is to get the job done. Why not think about how to keep it simple while having fun at doing that job? In the end, there has got to be something bigger than the mere advice to carry out the bigger tasks of your life. The need for a healthier life must be bigger than your appetite for the next unhealthy cholesterol-filled fries. The need to be able to go through life without the disadvantage of zero intelligence must be strong enough to keep you at your books and learning even when it is not convenient. The consequences of procrastination usually are far-reaching. People have lost out on opportunities because they took the right actions at the wrong time. Medical conditions have grown worse because of delay in visiting the relevant medical authority. Trauma, shame, disappointments are also some of the things that procrastination could cause in people's life. Although we can eventually get over these things, they have a way of leaving their marks on the body. If you would like to know how trauma leaves its record in the body, then be sure to stick around for our next video. Thank you for watching.